to another day of adventures with Wes and Jeff. We are in southwestern South Dakota in a place called the Badlands National Park. It's 244,000 acres and it's where the Great Plains meet up with the limestone mountains here at Black Hills, South Dakota. And this national park is a pretty interesting one. These formations here, you got the, the Platte Prairie lands and then it drops right off into these badlands. And these have the rings of the sediment where the ancient ocean has made its mark on these hills. I'm, there's no railings out here. It's a, quite a drop off here. I'll show you, well, the shadows from the sun we're getting to be in the afternoon hours here in South Dakota, but still like 85 degrees, so it's still comfortable for us. But you can see off in the distance that we're going to show you several different uh, overlooks and little hikes to, that we're going to take here at the Badlands National Park. But this is just the first one, it's called the Big Badlands Overlook. There's Jeff, he's walking out to the end of the little boardwalk that they have here. It's gonna walk out there and I'm gonna do that next. But this is kind of cool. It reminds me of a mini Grand Canyon, but in a way different way. This is a limestone that's been carved by water and it's still being carved to this day uh, by the water, uh, rain and storms that come through here. Badlands National Park in South Dakota and we are on the door trail. This has to be one of the most interesting and unique trail hiking trails I've ever taken. It's only a mile long but it's out here in this terrain that goes on forever. All these rock formations and I just want to do like a little circle around to show you it's uh it's in the evening hours we're about seven o'clock or so but this just looks like a moonscape to me start over there on the boardwalk that's from the parking lot and you, you have these markers that show you uh, numbered markers so go up to 12 we're on number five now but this goes around this scape you can see Jeff is out there he's already on the next one and moving on around but this is just one of the most unique landscapes I've ever seen and encountered. I don't even know what could live out here, but I, we did see a bunny earlier. So uh, there is jackrabbits out here and other things, the pronghorn, uh, pronghorn antelope and the bighorn sheep. So it's just really cool, a place to come and explore. Gonna do the rest of the hike and then uh, I'll show you more uh, unique things about Badlands National Park.
it's at sunset. There's the sun setting over these badlands in South Dakota. Just a total awesome sight. Uh, they have all these overlooks and little hikes that you can take down into these rock formations, which are really cool. I encourage anybody that is interested in any of the national parks, this is one of the better ones I felt because it's very scenic. that you can pull out and the sun is setting in the west and there is a car going down the road that goes in between little spears there pretty kill cool sight at a viewpoint that is on the western end of this park and it over there's the moon it's actually a very full moon this evening and then the sunset is actually glowing an orange color let's see if I can get it to go orange there we go it darkens my face but you get the idea but uh, and these are the prairie lands behind me I'm gonna flip the camera around so this is the viewpoint here. We have, everybody's just squeaking out the last bit of uh, daylight to capture uh, these rock formation and the spheres that, uh, the spires that they have uh, here at Badlands National Park. So, people are taking a little walk along the trail here out towards the peaks and the sunset is it's pretty much gone to the west 
probably still daylight at home in California, but here in South Dakota, we are squeaking out the last ounce of uh, sunlight at Badlands National Park. Whatever you do during the day, get out and enjoy the great outdoors and do something that makes you smile. Have a great day.